Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to iCommitforever.com channel. And today we will talking about UI navigation view controller in Xcode 7 and also in Swiss 2.2. And this tutorial will show you about how to use UI navigation view controller and what is UI navigation view controller and how how easy and how useful when you use UI navigation view controller and okay the first thing you need to do you need to know is what is UI navigation controller a navigation controller object made your currently display screen use the navigation step and this represented by an array of view controller. The first view controller in array is the root of view controller. The last view controller in the array is the view controller currently being displayed. You add and remove view controller from the stack you stack way or using the method of this class. The user can also remove the Topmost view controller use the back button in the navigation bar or use a less at spare gesture. And the navigation view controller manage the navigation bar at the top of the interface and an optional toolbar at the bottom of the interface. The navigation bar is also present and is managed by navigation controller step. Oh, sorry, controller itself, which update the navigation bar use the content provided by the view controller on the navigation step. When the toolbar hit that property is no, or in space you can switch to four. The navigation controller similarly adapt the toolbar with content provided by topmost view controller. And a, view, uh, a navigation view controller coordinates its behavior with delegate objects. The delegate object can override the pushing and popping of the view controller, provide custom animation transition, and specific specify the prefer orientation for the navigation interface. The delegate object you provide must conform to UI navigation controller delegate protocol. Okay. Okay, this is your sample navigation interface. As you can see the picture and this is the picture in sitting in iOS and here is the road view controller and have a child and here a child of this view controller and this view controller is a child of this view controller it's called road view controller and when we click on the row and it pushing a view controller, a child view controller, and then we click on this. This view controller will push in the view controller, the new view controller. It's called child view controller. And when we click back, this this button, it will the the navigation view controller will popping, popping the view controller back to the power and view controller and this view controller when we click this button it will pop in the view controller to the root view controller as you can see this picture this is the navigation view controller in the real application it is your object managed by navigation controller and here it is 
UI navigation view control, uh, navigation controller that have uh, array of view controller and it have a navigation step. It's meant the the first of view controller it's called root root view controller that contain contain a lot of view controller in uh, an array view controller that's called uh, UI UI navigation controller and here as you can see here a lot of the uh, view controller and inside our UI navigation controller it have navigation bar what is navigation bar navigation bar it is the bar that has target to the UI navigation controller and uh, it also back button and inside UI navigation controller it also have toolbar and delegate delegate is the custom object as you can see this diagram okay here this is the view of the navigation controller navigation controller view a navigation controller is a container view controller that's it it's embed the content of other view controller inside its shell. You access a, a, a navigation controller view from its view proxy. As you can see the layer of view. As you can see this picture. And this view incorporates incorporate the navigation bar on optional toolbar and the content view corresponding to the topmost view controller as you can see this picture this picture so how this view are assembled to operation around navigation interface and in this in this picture the navigation interface is future embedded inside a tab bar interface are those the content of navigation bar and toolbar view chain the view themselves do not the only view that actually chain is the custom content you provide by top move view controller on navigation step Don't forget, I want you to remember because the content view and the lab, the navigation bar in iOS 7 and later, you must consider the space when design your view controller content. The navigation controller manage the creation, configuration, and display of navigation bar and optional navigation toolbar. It is permissible to customize the navigation by apparent relative property, but you must never change its frame, bound, or alpha value directly. If you subclass UI navigation bar, you must initialize your navigation controller use the init bit navigation bar class to bar class measure. To hide also the navigation bar, use the navigation bar hidden property or set, set navigation bar hidden animated measure. A navigation controller build the content of navigation bar dynamically use the navigation item object instead of UI navigation item class associated with the view controller on navigation step. To customize the overall apparent of the navigation bar, use UI apparent API. To change the content of the navigation bar, you must therefore configure the navigation item on your custom view controller. Your custom view controller. Okay. Okay, now we go ahead to create um, embed the UI navigation view controller 
to the view controller and interface design and let's go to one and the first thing you need to do is make sure you select the view controller this icon and go to editor and and select the embedding as you can see and go to the right and you will see the navigation controller and you can you can click on this so now you will see a navigation controller here here yeah here are uh, it is a navigation controller when you embed to the view controller you can see this title bar like that as you can see like this okay now you will see it is the uh, title bar when we embed navigation the controller it will also show the, the title bar you can put the title as you can to home or you can also put other name or uh, other name are you are you like okay as you can see this is the first view controller that embed by navigation controller object and it's called the root the root of your controller the root of the root view controller of the navigation controller it here and when you have another other view controller and you push from this view controller to that view controller that view controller it's called charge controller and when you click back button it will pop in to the root view controller here okay let's go ahead to create other view controller by drag this like that okay and i want to change the background color for make sure this is the second view controller i want to change to blue like that but it's not how a title title bar because it's not a it's not a, a view controller that in in inside a stack of of navigation controller and this is this view controller in is inside stack of navigation controller because it is the first view controller and one more thing we need a button for pushing a new view controller to push view controller like that okay and I want to center it by click this add constraint and I don't care about the width and height I just embed constraint oh sorry embed frame like that and now I want I just drive to the second view controller and choose so okay now this can view controller is add to the step of the navigation view controller and it is a child of the root view controller when we run we will see a back button here and when we click that the navigation view controller will pop in to the root view controller here okay let's be on run to see the result and this title bar you can also customize the color and icon you can put icon bar here you can design yourself 
and to sit on this sample and know about an application view controller. Okay, but very best because it will run and build application the first time. It will take time a little bit. And I hope you enjoy and know and understand about my explanation here. Yeah. Yeah, this is a time huh? and when I click push the controller, okay, this is the secondary controller, and this is the back button, and when I click, boom, like that. Okay, so, hope you enjoy this tutorial, and if you have any question, you can list the comment and uh, below this video and i will try to explain you more and answer your question as you can as possible so goodbye and please subscribe my channel for more video and more tutorial about mobile application and more technology and also web technology also okay same goodbye